What's up, everyone? I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mr. D O N D W -E once again, and this will be your final task for science. Okay, now allow me to discuss the script template that you're going to use on your video. Okay, now your final task is about a demonstration of the three laws of motion. But of course, you have to choose between first, the second, and the third law. Okay? So here's the script. This is important since we have to follow the script, or if you can go beyond the script, or you would like to add some ad libs or other informations, yes, you are free to do so. But this will be a generic one or a standard one, or I guess, standard. Okay. Now you can add, but we have to follow still the script. All right. So let's begin with an introduction. You have to introduce your name first, of course. Good morning. My name is Justin of Grade 6 Larasati. And today I will be demonstrating the third law of motion. If ever, Justin prefers the third law of motion, the law of uh, or the law of uh, reaction for every action there's an equal but opposite reaction there you go now after that you're going to be explaining that particular law that you have chosen say for example third law so you have to explain what is the third law of motion the third law of motion states that there you go and you have to explain it in a video and then after that you're going to explain also the demonstration procedure. So you're going to say, today, I'm going to show you how the third law of motion is applied in this particular sequence. And then you're going to explain what you're about to do. Okay. And number four is the demonstration. You're going to demonstrate a particular law based on the examples of it. So we are thinking like maybe a ball bouncing a ball so that's the one you can dribble you can show your uh handles as they say you can show your handles for dribbling the ball and that is a demonstration and then after that one of course since you're done explaining that this is an example of the third law of motion because uh you will explain of course the the force that you act on the ball once you bounce it it is uh, directly uh moving downwards and the uh, opposite reaction is the bouncing of the ball with the same amount of force. So that's an example. And you can think of many more examples as well. Okay, so you will just choose first, second, and third laws of motion. And that's what you will do. And closure, you need to end properly. So thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of the day. That can be a simple closure or an ending of your video. So I hope you're listening, my grade six uh, students. This will be your final task in science. And I would like to say this loud and clear, Mr. D-O-N-D-E-E-E now signing off. Bye-bye.